So you've just got the OBS plugin vertical from Atom and you're wanting to use it in your setup with Streamerbot. Well, you've come to the exact right place. Us at StreamUp have created a lovely extension that is super easy to use and you can control everything to do with the vertical plugin nice and easy. So let's just get straight into it. Put your rug over the stone. Hey ho, duckies, Andy Liffy here. So Waldo has done such a great job pulling this together so quickly for you StreamerBot users. Make sure you do drop a little thumbs up on the video to say thanks to him as well and leave a comment for him. To get this downloaded, it's a super simple free extension that Waldo made on StreamUp. So we're going to head to the StreamUp website, go up to freebies at the top. All these links are going to be in the description, so don't you worry. And then you'll see a button just here that says Atom Vertical Actions for StreamerBot. We just need to select that and it's going to have all the information just here. We've got the triggers for backtrack, recording, streaming, and that includes the start, save, stop, status, all that stuff. Literally everything you could possibly need. And we've also got the scene switching and get current scene. All we need to do is download it, press download to import, or you can triple click in the middle here, select all, and press copy. That is it. Get rid of the website now. Head on over to Streamerbot, press import at the top just here, and paste that string into this section right now and you should see there's 17 actions that is added we've got all the different backtracks recordings scene switches streaming we're just going to press import waldo has separated these all out for ease of use really so it doesn't get too complicated for you so i'm going to run through exactly how this is going to work so now we've got all these actions imported it's quite self-explanatory, a lot of these. For instance, the save and start functions, they do exactly what they say on the tin. As soon as that action is triggered, it will save it, it'll start it, it'll do all that jazz. What we can do there is we could add it to a chat command, creating a chat command just in here, for instance, and you could get your moderators to be able to clip something that is actually funny happening on screen. So we type in a test command and we can add that action and we'll say, we'll choose backtrack save, for instance, nice and easy easy and press select and that is it it's added i can add moderators to be allowed to do it press ok that is now connected so anytime that somebody does exclamation mark test in chat it will actually just do the backtrack save which is really handy so if i head on over into obs you can see if i've got backtrack already selected and turned on if i do exclamation mark test in chat now is actually going to backtrack save. There you go. I've just used the chat command to trigger this. And obviously you can set this up onto your Stream Deck or something like that using the Stream Deck software. There is a streamer bot extension for that as well. Let's look at some of the other things that we can do with this. So if we jump back into here, that same logic applies to the save, the start and the stop for each one of these, whether it's re recording, streaming, they all do the exact same thing. You set that to whatever action or trigger method that you want it to be, and then it just works. There are a couple of other things that actually give you some more information, like backtrack status, for instance. We can find out if backtrack is basically active. Right now, what this does is it checks to see if backtrack is available and it is active, and it'll set an argument just in here. So we are gonna need to remember what this argument is. So if we double click into the status here and we copy vertical backtrack status waldo has made it nice and easy for you to remember i can create a new action i've got this test one just here and i can add a, another action to it so say if i want something to happen if backtrack is turned on for instance i can create my action that i want it to do and then i can actually run this action to check if the status is running. So I'll go backtrack status, select that, and I'm gonna leave run action immediately on because I want it to run in line to check it. And then when we're adding it to our sub action right now, we're gonna check this backtrack status so it loads the variable. And then I'm gonna create an if statement, for instance, the if statement here and check the variable vertical backtrack status. If it equals true, then I want it to run a different action. So I'm gonna add it to the save action. So if, if it is active, then do a save. If not, do basically nothing. So press OK. And then now if I run this test action, which I'm going to set up to another the test command that I've got here, I'm going to set this up to test, press OK. And then now if I do the exclamation mark test, you'll see it's going to do backtrack saving. But if backtrack is not turned on like now, if I do exclamation mark test, you'll see nothing is happening. Um, that is just one explanation. I mean, obviously, if it's not turned on, it's not going to work anyway. 
But we can fire that same logic on doing things like if we're actually streaming or something like that. So it's completely up to you what you do. Looking at some of the other things, we've got the get current scene. So we can, I'm going to make a test action for this. The argument is nice and easy to remember, current vertical scene. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to do the action and I'm going to get the current scene. So scene, get current and we'll send a message to channel. And I'm just going to send in the variable, which is current vertical scene. Press OK. And then now, when I'll do the test command, we should get a response from chat saying we're on vertical scene one. If I change scene to just chat in vertical and I'll do test again, it'll say we're on just chat in vertical. So then you can create some advanced scene switches and things like that using Streamerbot. There are a couple of other triggers that we can do as well, which is really nice. Like we can actually do manual scene switching as well. The way that this one works, we will just need to adjust this argument. We can copy these sub actions into a different action. It's completely up to you how you do it, but you just need to put a scene name here. So the vertical scene I want to switch to right now is vertical scene one. And I'm going to trigger this with the test command again. So I'm going to just change it in here to scene switch, select. And then now if I do test, we're currently on just chatting vertical, as you can see. I'll post that in and boom, we've changed scenes. So we can obviously implement advanced use cases for making content look pristine. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Like it's completely up to you how you put these building blocks together. You can copy these OBS raw and the argument files into your own actions. You don't always need to trigger these actions. They are there just for your reference. So you know exactly how everything works. So make sure you do like the video to give support. Obviously, Waldo's put a lot of effort into this to get it out so quickly for you guys. Let him know how much you love it in the comments below, all right? And obviously, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you over in the next video. Put your rock over the stone.